these are the factory marks on the piston rings. That's a factory mark from the manufacturer who puts one on there. This is the top ring. And that, one, that little divot that he put on there is bigger than the one on the second ring. That's my mark because I, you know, I, I need to know but at a glance. If you're not really watching, you can mix these up. And that's not good. So I put one dot on them. The second ring, I put two dots on them. Then I clean it off for final assembly. But that's his mark. If you ever just want to go with his marks and you're looking for them, they're right there. Plus, they come individually packaged. So that, you know, so there's a first ring section, a second ring section, oil control ring section. So, uh, so you won't get mixed up. But you keep, you can get mixed up. Like in this case, uh, you know, this guy put this whole thing together. And then I'm coming in after behind him and taking it all apart because, you know, this is the motor that's got the phlegmoid in the number five hole. We don't know what it is. It's something in the metal and in the bore. Weird. I got a video on it. Check them out. But um, it's going to the machine shop and uh, we got to start getting everything ready. And this is just uh, one of the steps. In the back of your block, there's these three lifter galley plugs that are screwed in. You got to get them out of there. Especially this one's going to the machine shop, so it's got to get it out of there. Plug. And there's three of them. And then when it comes back, you know, the machine shop's going to take them out anyway. But by you taking them out, uh, you, make, you make sure that you have them, <laughs> that they didn't keep them. You know what I mean? So anyway... Um, you can put a brush through these when it gets back and see them clean the machine shop. Got it. This is a super scraper. And it makes short work of gaskets. Gaskets that are stuck on there and won't come off. Gonzo. You got silicone. Some people use silicone for the gaskets. It really tears up silicone nice and easy. Paper gaskets, they can be on there. But the super scraper wins in the end. You gotta make good some... I really, I really, I can't live without them. Just something you gotta have. And the many millions of things that you gotta have. But if you can't scrape stuff... I can go over there this quickly with a sander. But, Sometimes paper gaskets, they stick in layers. You'll get one layer off, and you won't be able to get all of them off. So, just get you a foothold and get them off of there. Super scraper. Super scraper. Goodson. They got all kinds of stuff. You should check them out if you never have. All kinds of good stuff you can use. No doubt about it. Small block Chevys come with three plugs. They're pressed in there. Most guys take them out and put screwed in plugs in there. It's a good idea. Somewhere along the way. One of those popped out on somebody, started a rumor, and ever since then, everyone's put screwed in, screwed in plugs in there, quarter inch screwed in, national pipe tap. And so, you take, you, you already got the uh, pipe plugs out of the back, so it gets you a 3 8 solid rod. Uh, 
and knock those plugs out of there. You're not going to use them anyway. So, they go in the trash. These two blocks here, uh, I will put them side by side so that we could see uh, the drain backs, two different styles. This is a traditional style. You buy this in a kit and um, the machine shop drills that hole that big, you know, they're not, they're not that big stock. And uh, you put them in, silicone them in, and that's it. Stops, you know, if you have carnage up top, you break a lot of stuff, rock around, push rods, whatever, and it also comes raining down, it can't get back into the bottom end because it can't really go through that. And there's drain holes at the back as well, at the back of the block. You epoxy them in there. Now, this block over here, it's going, it's going to the machine shop. This is the block with the number uh, five hole. It's got all the phlegmoid right embedded into the metal. You know what the hell it is. But anyway, uh, there is this drain back that we just opened up. And our thinking was, we're going to uh, epoxy screens in there. But instead of spending the expense of having this done at the machine shop, you know, we're trying to cut our bill down as much as possible. And we just opened these up and we've done tests and uh, you wouldn't believe how fast the oil gets out of the top end. So we're gonna epoxy screens in here. We're gonna epoxy screens in the back holes where the oil drain back comes back. And uh, we don't need to spend this expense at the machine shop. I don't know what they, they, they charge us but I'm sure it's 35 to 50 bucks and we can save that and every 35 or 50 bucks you can save uh, you're doing yourself a good favor now this block came stock which all, almost all Chevy blocks come stock with those cups we get rid of the cups knock them out from the back and we get rid of them and we screw in quarter inch national pipe plugs because they ain't going nowhere I guess somewhere along the way, someone popped one of these out and it ruined their motor. Ever since then, uh, hot rodders have done this. So th this this block didn't have came stock. You can see these stake marks right here. I don't think those are factory stake marks because I, if I'm not mistaken, the stake marks that the factory used to use were, you know, right alongside the cup, just to just like just to push the metal in to hold it in. But uh, hot rodders uh, stake the cups in there so they won't have any problem but we elected we're not going to do that we're going to screw them in same here this uh this is a target motor from the 90s this is one of those high nickel blocks from 74 and uh they're different they've changed the configuration as you can see right here uh there's a little bit of difference but anyway we screw them in and uh we don't worry about it after that. They're screwed in. They aren't, they aren't coming out. Uh, there is a secret oil hole passage that people talk about and you may not be familiar with, but we'll get into that in another episode. These are the quarter inch national pipe plugs you'll be using. They're used front and back on a Gen 1. Uh, these right here is what comes stock on the front underneath the timing chain cover, the lifter galleys. These plugs are pressed in. Uh, nobody likes to use them because at one time somebody used them and they came out and uh, ruined the guy's motor. So ever since then, hot rodders have gone to these. So uh, you can put them in at home. You need a quarter inch national pipe tap. Once you get that, you can do it at home, no problem. It doesn't need to go to the machine shop. If it's your first time, you might want to uh, have the machine shop do it. And then when you get it back, look how deep they put them in there. And you use um, pipe sealant that's pliable. You know, it never hardens. That's the kind of pipe sealant you want to use on that. And get your depth. And uh, put them in there and, yeah, save you some money from the machine shop. Because uh, the more you can save, the better. You can buy the kits. Uh, Summit sells them. It comes with the freeze plugs. It comes with these plugs. And um, 
yeah, like that. So save yourself some money. Use these. Get rid of these. We use windage trays on all our stuff, and you should too. Um, that's topic for a whole other show. It's quite in depth, but should be using a uh, a windage tray. And there's many styles out there. Even the factory put in windage trays. I, um, I think the really the first one I ever saw was a '69 302 Z28. Came stock from the factory with a windage tray and a solid windage tray. There's been there's been many upgrades since. Uh, we use Milodon, and um, it's a good idea to keep that oil where you want it, in the sump, so it can do its job. Yeah, we were discussing the test we did on oil drain backs. There's a link below. You can click on it if you want to watch it.